Hey guys, I'm Kirk. Welcome back to Generation Zero. We are right now entered, uh, we have entered the Salham area, and uh, so far we are right now exploring a bunker that we found access to. One of the small bugs was in here as well. Uh, there's a radio I don't not necessarily want to pick up, but you know what, screw it. Uh, yeah, my inventory is completely full of this stuff. Can I just drop it? Uh, I would like to drop it. How do you get uh, there you go drop item perfect 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 now uh, there was one of those bugs in when we entered this whole complex so you know that's not what I wanted to do that's what I wanted to do gotta be careful inventory full for real though hmm yeah I'll drop this thing So we found a weapon. What is this? Molar PP worn. This one is dilapidated. Okay, so we this one is better one. This one is better on handling. Just handles a bit better. Yeah, that's okay. For now, we're just gonna chill. I think. Uh, you know what? I should just drop that one. To be honest. To be honest. Got them radios <laughs> everywhere. Ah, that's the emergency flare. Ah, okay, so it makes uh, a place like this. Okay, let's uh, switch you. Let's uh, remove attachment. These things. Mm, fine. Let's uh, drop the boom boxes. Let's uh, remove attachments. Remove attachments. Thank you. And then uh, let's drop this item. Awesome. Uh, this one is the old one, right? Yeah, let's uh, remove its attachments. And let's drop this one as well. You know, inventory space suddenly just became important. And this is the silencer for you. Right? And we should uh, also reload you. Let's give you... Uh, what do we have? Wait, does 9 mil go in there? No, this is submachine. Uh, full metal jackets. Let's put them in here. Sweet. Okay. Now that gives us a bit more inventory space. I like it. Cool. Okay. Let's continue looting this place then. Shall we? Shall we or shall we not? We definitely shall. That's where we came in. Okay. Let's go in this. What seems to be a storage area. All right, you know, or maybe a kitchen. I see you here. More ammo. Mm, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Okay. What do we have over here? Toilets. Exactly what I needed. More toilets. This sounds like a generator room. Hmm. Dangerous. Okay, we got light. What is that noise? Is that me walking or it must be me walking? Oh that's cool. Where did we unlock the safe house? Is this this now the safe house? Okay, so this is now our safe house. Sweet. That's that's actually very good. Weird safe house, to say the least, but it's a safe house nonetheless. And you know what? That's fine. We got ourselves a safe house. Now we leave the safe house. And go. To be honest, uh, the idea of safe houses is... <laughs> not something I uh, am the biggest fan of in gaming. You know what? We can leave that open. Why, you might ask? Well, because why make is... You know, why do you have to make saving a big deal, a big part of the game? You either let people save whenever they want, or do you make it a perma save in such a way that the game constantly saves on its own. But, uh, you know, having houses where you can only save, so you have to always go back to save there and stuff like that. Meh. 
I'm not the biggest fan. You know? Either make it permadeath or make it uh, that we can say whenever. That's, you know, that's, that's my preference. I understand if a lot of people have different preferences, you know, it makes sense. <clears throat> to be honest, I uh, was quite uh, happy with the with the way uh, in the new, or well, the remake of Resident Evil 2 worked. Uh, where you have like those safe spots as well, which worked kind of like safe houses, to be honest. Where you could save. It was okay, it was done fine, so it wasn't, it wasn't too bad, but it's not something that I'm the biggest fan of, right? Now, we have a whole freaking town to loot. Yeah, full freaking town to loot, and who knows what kind of enemies we are seeing out here. So, bear with me as we go around and basically loot everything that can be lootable. And since there's so many houses, also bear with me if I start going through these a bit faster, because, you know, yeah. Oh, please. Who, who made doors like these? What is this? Kind of some kind of Swedish engineering? It's not Ikea. For real, though. Someone's watching TV over here when shit hit the fan. Alright. Don't think we're going to be finding any more uh, guns around here. That was the gun that we already found. But you know what? I <laughs> kind of like the idea that the bunker is our safe house in this area. It's not too bad. Not too bad of a thing. Um, did I, was I in here? Yeah, you see? As I was saying, I'm walking through these a bit faster because there's a lot of them. And there's a lot of them, there's, uh, yeah, less ideal. It's uh, probably going to miss something. This house is set up differently, but uh, I think that this, the tiles are kind of the same-ish. Oh, excuse me. Justa, det här är Anita. Var är du? Vi är man och skjutit i flera minuter. Jag försöker få tag på Peter och se om försvaret har kontaktat honom, men jag har evakueringsplanen hemma. Så ring mig så fort du hör det här. All right. Whatever you say, lady. Whatever you say. Ooh. Is this a kid's house or is this the dog house? What's the difference, you might ask? Well, good point. Good point. Hello? Got anything back here? No? Well, why do you have a house here then? If I may ask. Why do you have a house? Still surprising that there's like nothing out here. Huh. Everything's deserted. You'd expect, uh,. To see mechs running around the the one of the most populated areas around here, well, at least seems to used to be one of the more populated areas, at least more than the forests where we just left. And the forest was, we know, patrolled way more by the mechs. Sure, we found some uh, tanks out there. So I guess people were fighting, but that's about it. And we're just stealing everybody's laundry, basically. <laughs> Uh, that's basically what it is. You're yeah, going out there stealing everybody's laundry. And, well, ammo. Which they had stashed in their houses, but that's about it. That is about it. Yeah, I, I got a feeling that this could be quite fun. With, uh, playing with a friend. Could be quite a lot of fun. What is this area down here? Hello. I mean, you're walled in like that, I'm gonna go check it. The good thing is the max can't open the doors. So if I just close that behind me, we're good. And then you would see like in Jurassic Park, yeah, you would see one of those mechs slowly put their uh, tiny uh, claw hand on the handle and turn it. And you would shit your pants. I guarantee you. Yeah. I guarantee you you'd cheat your pants if you saw a Velociraptor opening a goddamn door. I think you'd probably shit your pants as, even if you just saw a Velociraptor. If it was uh, doing that thing or not. 
you know? Any, like, hidden areas back here? You know, you'd think there would be something hidden, but the game's been quite a lot of tease. Uh, also, you know, you, you can see lights in the distance, like, way out there. Yeah, that's the other... Oh, look at that. Like, that's, that's the whole other island. Actually, that's... Yeah, that's way out here. The Osterwick. Look how big that thing is. To be honest... Okay, found eight loot so far. To be honest, I've... What is this? Episode... I don't know which. Like, seven? Maybe? From all of that. And... You know... It's like a couple of hours and we've not gotten anywhere. By the way... It looks, and you know, you can play this multiplayer, etc. So it's kind of cool. Uh, there seems to be plenty in this game. Even though this town seems uh, quite empty right now. Ooh. It's like a grocery store over there or something. I'm gonna go check that out. More war paints, huh? Sure. Mm. More loot. Ooh. Uh, the lapidated rifle skull, but this one is longer, or, uh, yeah, that's what she said, but also this one is 4 to 8, right? The other one was 1 to 4. So basically, this one is 4x, this one over here is 8x. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're gonna do some sniping. No stat name. Interesting. Whatever no stat name is, I want it. I want it. So I wanted to go here because that. Oh, can I go up on the roof? Please tell me. No. Fuck. It's a shame. Yeah, it's a shame. I wanted to go in here because this was closed off. It's making noises. Hear that? Is there a mech swimming underneath? Plenty of ammo. Yeah, told you there's gonna be loot in here. Oh, excuse me? What is that thing? Yo, did you... Game, did you turn multiplayer settings on? Oh my god. No. Get out. This is obnoxious. Kick this guy. Kick him. Yeah. This is invite only. Didn't didn't let you know. Unlock the South Coast Command Bunker. Uh, whatever. I'm alone playing here. Go away. Whoever you were. I don't need you here. I don't need you. I didn't want to set it to anyone can join, but hey. Uh, looks like game decided that would be a good idea. Nope. Nope. You get to go away. That's a kiosk. Can we enter the kiosk? Mm, doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe? No. Ah, 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 no. How about Kunsam? Falukorn. Ring sausage. Classic type whole ring. Ring sausages, huh? And you can't enter this? Yo, man! I want to go, uh... Get a ring sausage. Whatever that is, I want it. I want your ring sausage in my mouth! Please don't, uh, you know... Think that I wanted to say something else. But... I will, I will not take it back. I do want that ring sausage in my mouth. Oh, wow. That's a lot of gas tanks. Uh, a lot of gas tanks. Standard, simple. Let's keep the simple one over here. We have the space for those gas tanks. It's not the one that I really want, to be honest. You're not the one that I want. Da -da -pam 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 -pam. Can we enter in the back of the sausage party? No. I'm crying out loud. That makes me sad. No sausage party for me. Also, did you watch that movie, Sausage Party? It's pretty cool. 
totally isn't weird. Just, just cool. There's a uh, huge loot bonanza out here. I'll have you know. Huge. Do you hear that? Water? What was a water sound? I don't like that. Sprinting a bit? No, nobody can hear me. Okay. No, can't get in here either. I guess that's how they uh, block a bunch of these houses. A bunch of these houses are just uh, for their looks here only, it seems. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, you make a town, you let us enter the town. Let us enter everything. Uh, this is the same scope that I already have, so I'll leave you be. It's dilapidated. If it was uh, worn or something, I would take it and replace it, but... Dilapidated? Nope. You can stay there. You can stay there. Alright, what else do we got in here? More ammo. Well, at least we're gonna have a lot of ammo. When we go onwards to glory. Maybe not gonna run out of uh, uh, shotgun ammo right away this time around. Hmm. Nothing else. Okay, okay, okay. Hall read. Yes. Peter? Note? Peter, I wanted to read your note. It says hold to read. Didn't do anything. So what is this thing? According to intel you gathered, there should be a command bunker with the code name Minken. Locate and reclaim it to interact with uh, Warboard and obtain missions and regional information. Hmm. Is there enough missions, uh, machines in the South Coast region to get a complete entry barcode? Okay. Scarven bunker. Yo, I. Hmm. Uh, that one is somewhere else. Location called Bjorkness on Ebon Holman. Yeah, his house is probably nearby. Yeah, that that was a lie. I remember that being a lie. You know. It was. Uh, the car was here. We went to check these these areas. That's the only nearby thing that I could see. Maybe down here. I should have probably well checked down here, but now oh, well, it's fine. Maybe I should have gone. Maybe maybe not. Uh, shooting practice. Oh, that one we've done. That one we finished. Yeah. So I think the bunker w would have been this thing, right? Anyway, it's kind of it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird some of these the way some of these missions work. But you know what? This is early access, so it's all fine. I'm not too worried about that. I'm having fun, and that's that's the only thing that matters really. If I'm having fun, then uh, yeah. Please, chair. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? Although uh, I will admit. Looting a hundred houses, it's not as fun as you think if there's no enemies. Like if there were enemies protecting this, then the, this would be worth it. But now it's just like, okay, you checked the same house 1500 times. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go find if there's something else around here. Not just empty houses. I know they're not completely empty, there's always something in there. And there's also always something we might need. Or cars. More clothing, of course. More ammo, of course. I mean, this this feels like the game is preparing you to meet something very dangerous because it's giving you oh hunter rifle silencer silencer. I mean, we do have a rifle silencer, right? It goes in this one. What is the What's the difference? Ah, uh, they're both the same. Yeah, okay. Drop one of these. Fair. Sure, sure, sure. Simple, simple. Put them here. Stag them up. Let's go. Sweet. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, let's just go check maybe some of these houses. This one's closed. Yeah, this one's closed. This one's gonna be closed. 
Now, where else would we go? There's a football field over there, isn't it? Seems like it. Hmm. Well, it was a whole episode of just basically searching for loot. You know what? If we have a more peaceful episode, that's also fine with me. I'm not that worried about that. Uh, that probably just means that the next episode is going to be way more action-packed than this one so far. Especially because it seems that we have found most of the loot already. So there's that. There is that. I will go quickly sweep to this house as well. But also, don't take this the wrong way. But I'm kind of falling asleep right now. And it's not because of this game. No, but because it's uh, late and it's been a very long day. And I kind of wanted to go record like one episode, maybe two of this. And I've been playing a bit longer uh, than I intended to. And I am getting tired. So it's probably time to go to sleep, right? I mean, I recorded... I think this is my ninth video today. You know what? I think I deserve a break, right? Especially when you record uh, games like Kenshi or Outward. It is. It is like just the like this game. This game I play for 25 minutes and it's an episode and it's done. Kenshi and Outward I play for like an hour and a half and then you have to edit and all that stuff. Well, I guess Outward less than Kenshi, but uh, it's still work. And people think that YouTubers don't do anything. You know what? To be honest, I should really not complain. I'm not complaining. I enjoy what I'm doing. I love what I'm doing. I just, you know, get tired at the end of the day just like normal people do after they do stuff. Ooh. Ooh. We got something. We've got something, boys. They're playing football. They're playing football. That thing's flying. That thing is flying. I think we have found a new enemy. It flew away. Bastard. I wanted to mark it. Oh. You know what, guys? Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Tells me I have two of these. I don't need two of these. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, there's going to be something cool and new in the next episode. Yeah, we have flying enemies. That flying enemy is seeing me. That thing is gonna alert everything. I can tell you right now, that thing is gonna alert everything. Who knows what it's gonna alert? Okay. We're gonna vacate the premises. And we're gonna find a house where we can uh, go upstairs and then fight, probably. Because uh, fighting from upstairs with a sniper like this would work in our favor or something. Anyway, for now, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Share, like, subscribe, and see more. Do magic, and I will see you next time. Kick her out.